I really don't like the idea of my head being engulfed in flames. I have made some crazy projects over the years. Some of them I've done for work, a few I've done just for myself. But my favorite part has always been the brainstorm, where you take these crazy ideas and fantasies and you figure out how to really make them work. After I made the uh, flaming sword, the shish kebab from Fallout 4, there were a lot of comments in the YouTube videos on Make's channel and on YouTube requesting that I make the Fat Boy, which is a mini atomic bomb launcher. Now, of course, I, I'm not gonna build the Fat Boy. I, I'm not gonna build a mini atomic bomb, but I could build something that would give you the visual effect and actually function. Um, to a degree. So let's brainstorm it out and let's see what we can build. The Fat Man is a rocket launcher that kind of, um, I don't know, it's got a shape kind of like this and uh, there's a big air canister here and a handle here with a big trigger and a little shoulder strap. The physical creation of the 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 launcher part would be pretty easy it looks like you could go get stamped metal in the rough you know with the holes in it and build it to a curve and leave a a uh, like a, a tunnel for the launcher to move on the way this launcher works is it's compressed air being pushed out through a valve here to a track here with a little sled on it and the sled moves forward, okay? So you open up your valve, which I would just use a simple 12 volt solenoid, just like I use on a, on a fire poofer, like a propane poofer. And so, I mean, you pull this, the battery would be connected to a 12 volt solenoid. Your air canister here would push air that would actually shove a sled down a track. That's easy. I can do that all day long. It would be hard to get enough velocity to actually fire something using a sled like that. Um, but I, I think we could pull it off with a decent sized track. I can lift a pretty decent amount of weight up here for an air canister. So we could get that going. I mean, it's basically like, a, like an air-powered slingshot more than anything else. It would actually be pretty cool as a slingshot instead of being air-powered. But we'll stick to the design as it is in the game. Okay, so we have an air canister. I would use metal pipe, like um, black pipe, a 12 volt solenoid. The sled would have to slide in a groove. You can use all kinds of stuff for this, but I would probably do, I would, okay, let's break it down here. You have your solenoid here, which this is the symbol I'm making up for a solenoid now. And I would do a section of pipe that was roughly, I don't know, a third to a half the length of the overall weapon here. And then fitting inside that would be another section of pipe that your sled sits on, okay? And this one is sealed in here but can, can slide. And there's a stopper here at the end so that whenever you open your valve, so this is our valve open, here's our pipe again, the air pushes this internal pipe all the way out to its extended position and with it, our sled. So that's, I mean, that's a pretty basic mechanism. It's pretty simple. You paint that up and you've got the gist of it. You could put Nerf footballs on there and there you go, you've got a, a nuke launcher, cosplay nuke launcher, and that would be theoretically con safe uh, with some painted up Nerf nukes. Now, here's the fun part. What if we wanted mushroom cloud explosions whenever that hit? What would I do to make that happen? Um, all right, there are a couple ways to do it. The people in like, the movie industry and stuff, I probably do two common methods. Method number one for a mushroom cloud. You have um, a cylinder 
metal cylinder of some type that you pour a bunch of um, gasoline into. Ooh, there's my gasoline. And it goes in there. You pour a bunch of gasoline in there. You take um, like a pill bottle. You fill it full of black powder. You run an electric cable out of that. You can use a little Estes uh, rocket launcher match head. So this is full of black powder. And then you have your electric fuse, okay? So you take this, you put it in here, all right? So you have a tube with a pill bottle with your electric fuse coming out, and this is full up to here with gasoline. And whenever you ignite this, your pill bottle ruptures because of the black powder, it explodes, and it's ignited, and out of the top, this gasoline is ignited, and it comes out, and it turns into a big mushroom cloud. Now it takes like a gallon of gasoline to get like a 10 to 15 foot tall plume of fire. It's, it's gorgeous, it's a really beautiful plume of fire, but you're talking about a gallon of gasoline. Now, one pint roughly equals one pound, and a gallon is several of those, so you're talking several pounds. Now the weight, of course, it's not gonna launch very far. So here's, that's the basics of how it's done, but if you wanted to do it in a projectile, you'd have to do it a little bit differently. So here's our nuke. So that's a nuke roughly and it's got the fins that come off like this. All right, so that's our nuke. And inside here, we would have a cylinder roughly like this and here's our pill bottle. And our liquid is in here sloshing around and we'd have to seal this somehow. I would think that a thin plastic film or um, a paper of some kind would work and then we're gonna have to ignite this somehow on impact so what I would do is I'd have my electronic fuse coming off here to a reed switch so you would have electronic fuse reed switch maybe your batteries here on the front to make sure the front lands first because we want that flame to come out the back whenever it lands because you know whenever it lands it'll be like this, right? And so we want our mushroom cloud to come out like that. Okay, so with all the weight up front, it'll land on its nose, which is good. Uh, to do that, we need all the weight on the front. We'd have a reed switch that connects batteries to our black powder. Boom, we get a mushroom cloud. The problem I have with this though, is that when you're holding it, you would have a gallon of gasoline and a thing of black powder and a really finicky and sensitive switch all right next to your head. I really don't like the idea of my head being engulfed in flames. So, let's think of another way. There's gotta be another way that's less dangerous, and there is. The second method that people use for big fireballs is much safer. It might be a little harder to pull off though, and that is uh, finely powdered stuff. There's a lot of different fine powders that work, but the easiest is probably creamer just like you'd put in your coffee. The stuff's not flammable on its own. You get a pile of creamer, you try to light it, it doesn't light. But if you poof it all up into the air, then you can light that stuff and it goes up like crazy, okay? So how would you design your Fallout Fat Boy Nuke to work with creamer? Here is your nuke. Um, do, do, do. Do, do, do. All right, same cylinder as before, roughly, okay? And this is gonna be uh, filled with something like coffee creamer in a pile, all right? So we have there our coffee creamer. And then below here, we're going to have CO2 canisters. Now, they make a nifty little thing that's for airing up 
bike tires, or they sell them for a different, few different purposes. And it's just a little handle that squeezes onto a CO2 canister that you can squeeze it and it releases a canister for those little bitty CO2 canisters. And the new, the fat boy is like, like this big around, like, you know, if it was coming down. And I figure you could put up to four of those right in the tip of that sucker with the levers all pointing down. You rig those all up facing into this chamber here. Also, batteries and a reed switch to your igniter, which is out here. So whenever you have an impact with the ground, your reed switch connects and you have fire here. Your compressed air blows the creamer up and out and you get a big fireball. So that's how I would do it. That's how I would build a working fat boy from Fallout 4.